teacher arrested, accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. Police arrested 26-year-old Sarah Brooks yesterday, and now she's charged with sexual assault by a person of authority. She's accused of being sexually involved with a senior at Archer High School. The school district now telling us Brooks has resigned. Also new at five, a Bartow County school system employee faces a list of charges following accusations that she was having inappropriate relationships with students. The Bartow County Sheriff's Office took Heather Kishon into custody this morning. According to the Sheriff's Office, the complaint said that Kishon was involved in a sexual relationship with several students at Appalachie High School. The 35-year-old's charged with child molestation, furnishing alcoholic beverages to persons below the legal age, and sexual assault against a person enrolled in school. Kishin is being held at the Bartow County Detention Center, awaiting a first court appearance. In March 2019, Wyndham police began investigating Laura Amro, the superintendent of Wyndham Schools, after they were contacted by a concerned parent. There were disturbing allegations that Amro pursued sexual relationships with at least two 16-year-old students while she was principal at Wyndham High and that some of the encounters happened in her office. During questioning by police, she denied being the woman in a video being shared around the school by students. But the officer advised her there was evidence of her illegal relationship with one of the boys on Snapchat and in text messages. The 35-year-old must now serve 10 years in prison after pleading guilty to charges involving two of those 16-year-old boys. Natalie, she revealed in court that she is pregnant and is due in March. The court decided that she will begin serving the prison term two weeks after the baby is born. Northwestern Middle School teacher Ella Ray Silva is behind bars and accused of having sex with a 15-year-old student. The East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office says Silva and the student were in a relationship over the summer. According to an arrest warrant, Silva sent nude photos and videos to the victim. It also says they had sex several times and that she picked him up from his home without his parents' consent. Reports say Silva also gave him an e-cigarette with THC. That arrest warrant also states that Silva asked the victim not to report their relationship because it would affect her career and family. She was arrested in Book Thursday on several charges, including carnal knowledge of a juvenile, indecent behavior with juveniles, and contributing to the delinquency of a juvenile. Thanks. Well, developing at this hour, a Kellyville High School teacher faces rape charges accused of sleeping with her 18-year-old student. 25-year-old Kaylin Thompson, an English teacher at Kellyville High, resigned mid-April. Detectives say that's the day they started investigating her for sleeping, for allegedly sleeping with her 18-year-old student. Detectives say this happened twice, once at Heburn Lake and once at a Tulsa motel. And they say that they got an arrest warrant for her on Friday, but she turned herself in this morning at 10 a.m. Digging deeper, in Oklahoma, a consensual relationship is 16 years old, but detectives say this isn't consensual because she's his teacher, an authority figure. So the teen, the student, must be at least 20 years old. Former Munster teacher arrested last year, accused of having sex with a 16-year-old and 18-year-old student, has avoided jail time in a plea deal with prosecutors. Lynn Burge is a former teacher at Munster High School. An arrest warrant states Burge sent nude pictures of herself to a 16-year-old boy through Snapchat in the fall of 2017, then went back roading and drank alcohol with him before taking the student to her home and having sex with him. Then last March, pulled the same routine with an 18-year-old male student. She admitted to having sex with the 18-year-old, which is illegal because she was his teacher at the time. She admitted to almost everything the 16-year-old said happened, but told investigators she couldn't remember remember if they had sex since she was also intoxicated at the time. An anonymous tip about Burge was sent to the Department of Family and Protective Services, who investigated for a month before informally interviewing Burge. Instead of serving time, the former high school teacher was given five years probation. She'll also pay a $2,500 fine for each offense, according to the district attorney. Well, as part of the deal, Burge is also ordered to surrender her teaching license. The district attorney said in a statement, they believe this is a just and appropriate plea after consulting with the families of the victims. New tonight, investigators say a former teacher was arrested for having an inappropriate relationship with a student. They said they got a tip about a possible inappropriate activity in May, then investigated and arrested Jillian Reynolds today. She is scheduled to appear in court June 27th. Investigators say the case involves a student at Union Pines High. 
Police believe this woman, 27-year-old Sarah Falks, engaged in sexual contact with a 17-year-old male student. She was arrested today and posted bond just hours later. Falks has been with the Lockhart Independent School District since the fall of 2014. She's now been suspended by the district. Lockhart's ISD superintendent says the district does not tolerate any improper communication or contact between a teacher and a child. Crime be now a substitute teacher is behind bars accused of inappropriate sexual conduct with students. Delhi Charter School administrators contacted Richland Parish sheriffs yesterday about allegations involving 29 year old Brittany Kirby and two male students. RPSO investigators learned during the investigation Kirby had engaged in inappropriate sexual conduct over the past three months with those two students. When questioned by investigators, Kirby admitted to the allegations. She is charged with two counts of felony carnal knowledge of a juvenile. A Madison County teacher is on administrative leave tonight accused of sexual misconduct with a student. Sheriff's deputies arrested Catherine Coffey today. Investigators looked into allegations made earlier this week. Deputies say there is evidence that Coffey was involved in misconduct between August and December of last year. According to the school district website, Coffey teaches at Madison County Elementary School.